Hello everyone, I hope you can all hear me okay. Um, I know there's a bit of a delay, so I'll wait to hear back from you guys and see if you can. But since it is St. Patrick's Day, I wanted next week on Thursday, I wanted to go ahead and celebrate it today. So we're gonna be making green eggs and ham and these really easy drop cookies. Um, and we're gonna dye those green as well, so they're St. Patrick's Day inspired. Um, all right, so we'll go ahead and we'll start by heating up um, our burner, get it on medium. We're gonna be making hash browns. These hash browns are um, really easy. You can get them at Safeway. Um, is the music too loud, by the way? Uh, okay, great. I'm hoping not. I can always turn it down a little. There we go. So, um, yeah, so these potatoes are really easy. Uh, they're, they're already shredded for you. So, um, super, thanks, Bray. Super, um, super easy. So, go ahead and get your pan heated. You're going to want to put two tablespoons of vegetable oil. You can go healthier with this, but I kind of, I always think that it's like, if you're going to go big, you know, go big or go home. Like, if you're going to eat something like hash browns, I mean, you could be healthy, but I don't use steak butter. I don't use, like, any of that. I'm going to go ahead and... So just get your oil nice and heated. And can you hear the music, Brie? I'll wait for that response. And these aren't seasoned, they're literally just shredded. Um, you can find them, they're near the milk section. No. Let me try and change that. Let's see here. How about now? Well, it's paused, so. What about now? Well, that's weird. Okay, well, whatever. I'm still figuring this thing out. And these will take about six to eight minutes to cook, and they're not seasoned, so make sure your pan's hot. Be careful when you put them in, it should sizzle. If your pan's not sizzling, it's not hot enough, so crank up the heat. Hi, hola. And it's not sizzling, so don't put those in yet. <laughs> and then also preset your oven to 350. The drop cookies are really quick, but um, probably takes longer to heat up the oven than it does actually cooking them. I wish you guys could hear this music, but I'll enjoy it. Okay, here we go. all in there and I don't like I said have any salt or pepper so make sure that you salt and pepper them get them all nice and flavored so today when we're cooking the eggs how they're going to become green eggs and ham is pesto um, so it's not, we're not going to dye anything, we're just going to put a little pesto, a little spinach, um, and then some Canadian bacon is going to be our ham. So it should be pretty tasty. Um, I like to put pesto in eggs whenever I'm, you know, tired of eating scramble every day. Um, so. If you add some stuff into your eggs, you know, it just makes them taste better. Cool. So get that going, and you're going to just kind of want to flat them out. I'm going to add a little bit more pepper. To the top. And then when you 
flip them, you're going to divide them into four. So kind of just keep an eye on like having different sections. And we'll add a little bit more um, oil onto that too. So great. Let's go ahead and get our eggs going here. And we'll get everything all chopped. So just Canadian bacon. Um, you can get it at a new grocery store. <laughs> I'm going to just cube this up. So it's bite-sized pieces. Yum. I will make sure they're really crunchy, Mom. <laughs> and they take quite a while to do. Cube this up. And this is pre-cooked, so um, really we're just going to like get it browned a little bit. Mmm. I love bacon. Well, Canadian bacon. I mean, I just love ham, I guess. <laughs> cool. And these drop cookies are really fun, but they're also kind of dangerous. Um, Sorry, this speaker is difficult. Just learning here. Okay. And those are cooking nice. Is this so you guys can't hear the music at all. Um, that's really unfortunate. Maybe I'll just like play it loud next time. And I'm not just dropping them on the floor. There's actually a trash can down there. So, and I'm actually gonna do two separate batches here. Um, one with spinach and one without. Um, my mom's not a huge fan of cooked spinach. So I'm gonna make her a special little her little one. Yeah, I did get my Twitch Alerts box going. Thanks, Twitch Alerts. <laughs> Thanks. Um, okay, cool. Go ahead and beat these eggs. And then you'll just add the pesto into the eggs right now. So it'll just scramble right in. Um, I try and go for the most authentic looking um, pesto. So this one seemed authentic. I don't know, I don't have a favorite, but you know. And I'm assuming that my mom is going to get that phone. <laughs> Okay, yum, this looks good. So this is just um, basil pesto. I'm gonna spoon some of it in here. Just like, I don't know, it really is up to you. I'm gonna do like, this is a tablespoon, so probably like half a tablespoon. And then just same thing that you would do with your eggs, just look at those green eggs. Nice. Okay. I'm going to move all my supplies over here. And my eggs. And these smell like they're getting nice and crispy. I see a little brown going on. Just check it on a little bit. They're making a nice little crust there, so that's good. Um, let's see here. I wish you guys could hear the music. It's such a bummer. It's great music. I have such good taste. <laughs> um, grabbing some butter here for our eggs. 
I want them to be done at the same time because it's you don't want cold eggs or cold hash browns. So I'm just going to hold off until I flip these over um, to do that. So let's go ahead and start making the drop cookies. Bring my pesto over here as well. So when I make my set of eggs with the spinach, um, I don't have to walk around the kitchen. Not that it's that big of a, you know, space. Um, it's only a few steps, but make it easier. So these cookies are really easy. And this recipe is from my friend Tiffany Michael. So if you're watching, thanks for the recipe. Really fun. Um, thanks. I'm glad that, oh, and a recommendation on pesto from Karen Andrade is that's definitely what you want to get there. <laughs> Um, okay, so go ahead. This is a um, lemon cake mix. So just pour that into your bowl. And lemon cake mix, a tub of Cool Whip. And this gets really sticky, so it's going to be very messy. So, and this is probably going to splatter everywhere. Scoop this in. Make sure it's not frozen, because um, then it's pretty impossible to mix. Yum! I love Cool Whip. Every, when I was younger, like every Saturday or Sunday, we would have like mini chocolate chip pancakes with Cool Whip. Make them into like little chocolate chip pancake Cool Whip tacos. <laughs> Yes, and this is the St. Patty's shirt. See, St. Party. Woo! Got it at Target, if you're wondering. Um, okay. So this is the fun part. Oh, and one egg. Because I got, have to keep together. That egg is going to bind it. Otherwise, it would just be some sticky little mess of a... And you could do this with a spoon or a fork or whatever. It's it's honestly, they're so fluffy and so good, and it's really easy to make. These are perfect for, um, like, bringing to the office or anything like that. But if you can see, it's, like, just whipped. And it smells great, too. They're lemon, so. And I have some green dye, so we're going to dye these green. Mix this up. I'm going to go ahead and check the hash browns. Don't want to burn those. I think we're good. So like I said, you're going to want to um, separate these into fourths so they're easier to flip. Um, and they should be easy to flip if they're cooked enough. They, they'll have a, a crust and just kind of like flip as a unit. chili to them. Chili powder would be really good. Really anything. You could make them all fancy. You could add, but eat, they're also, <laughs> it's kind of Irish and they don't really do crazy whipped stuff. I mean, spiced stuff. It's not like, except like corned beef and mash, which is just such an interesting thing. Pancakes and Cool Whip. Yeah, they're so good. Mini pancakes. Yum. And I'm sure people watching this have definitely had those mini pancakes before. If Jen is watching, she has. Okay. See how sticky this is? It's very sticky. And that's where extra, this powdered sugar comes in because we're going to coat them in it and then drop them onto the pan. 
hence the drop cookies. Okay. I have a couple different um, dyes here. I think I'm going to go with neon, um, but I want to make sure that I get these eggs cooked. Um, so just a little multitasking here. Go ahead and get our pan heated. Get a little butter. Like a half a tablespoon is what I use. I just like a lot of butter. Like I said, I don't really do that much health wise. I mean like everything in moderation, but butter makes everything taste better. So why wouldn't you add a ton of butter? My, yeah, I know, my stuff is all turquoise. When I was doing it yesterday, I was like, this is all natural arts colors. <laughs> Whoops, I just love it so much. Oh yeah. That's exactly what we want. This goopy. These are going to be so good. And I just fluff right up. Ooh. Lots of butter. It's also going to help um, sorry it's going to help when you're um, flipping anything. I know I'm doing a scramble for the first one but let's do it a little bit simpler. Um, but the more butter you have the easier it is to flip stuff. So um, if you're ever doing like an egg over easy, butter is your best friend. So just get that pan nice and coated. I may have put a little too much butter in now that I'm saying that. <laughs> I'll just get a little bit up. But butter is still the best. So, <laughs> so we're going to throw some of our bacon in here. I mean Canadian bacon. I have for our green eggs and ham that we're making today. Green eggs and ham, and some hash browns. I think it's a very St. Patrick's Day. I, I mean, I just don't like corned beef and hash, though. And I'm gonna do a scramble for this one, and then when I cook mine, I'm gonna do an omelet. Whoops. And then you'll be able to see my next flipping skills I'll show off. Um, okay. We also want to get our cheese grated, so when our eggs are ready, it's nice and melted, um, and it's not cold on top. And you just want to brown up your um, Canadian bacon a little bit. And this is the best cheese grater in the world, because it catches everything. And this is um, just white cheddar. White cheddar. I figured it would be kind of a good idea just to keep, since everything's green, keep it in that green theme. I guess white cheddar is not green, but. <laughs> mm. But it's white and it's, you know, not orange. But orange might have been good if I had. <laughs> yeah, Carl. Look at my viewers. And they're real. <laughs> Um, great. Yeah, okay. Go ahead and get the eggs in here. Give them a little quick beat. Turn this down a little bit. Yum. And we're just going to scramble these up. Nice and light and fluffy. And green and ham. <laughs> Yum. And just let it sit there so it can kind of cook up. And I don't know, I just don't like my eggs running, and unless I'm purposely making them runny. Um, but I know that you're supposed to cook them a little bit less. I was watching Worst Cooks in America, and that's what they said, but, you know, 
I think that they can be fully cooked and not be runny and still be good. So, yum. This looks great. And smells really good too. I'm gonna flip these over one more time. Um, just because I want them to be really cooked. And I could have done. Yum, those look so good. I love hash browns. And they're fresh, so. Okay, perfect. What this? Yum. Go ahead and get some cheese on that. Watching, which I hope you are, your food is almost ready. Yum. If I can get this to slide off the plates, plate nicely. Turn that off. Cooking a little bit more. It's not a very even burner. Sorry, I keep forgetting that I'm talking that you guys can't hear music, so it's just quiet when I'm not saying anything. But I'm really listening to all this music. It's great. I wish that you could um, could hear it all, oh, but oh well, it happens. I'll figure it out sometime. Um, okay, great. So the reason why I wanted to do St. Patrick's Day and why I'm so obsessed with St. Patrick's Day is because green is my favorite color. And, um, and I love beer and I just love that everyone's happy and celebrating and it's just so fun. So um, obviously that's why we celebrate. And that's why I'm doing green eggs and ham. And I think in preschool they did green eggs and ham but like actually dyed the eggs green which is just kind of strange because um, I don't know. I mean, I'm dying cookies, but still. All right. There we go. My first green eggs and ham plate that I will set right here. So if somebody wants to come eat it, and I'll put a fork with it. And I'm going to do mine now. I'm just going to go ahead and wipe out this pan. There's a little cheese in that. Perfect. And then we'll go ahead and get more butter in there. And I'm going to put spinach in mine, so it's going to be even a little bit more green. I'm so excited to do this. And so back to the cookies. Um, I'm going to put some green dye. This is neon green, so we'll see how these turn out. A few drops there. Bright green cookies. And you could do a couple different colors and like make swirls and do fun stuff. I know that they have um, cake boxes that you can do this with, that they already come with the colors, um, but you can just do it yourself. It's really easy. I think maybe we'll have to go with real green. This is just gel um, food dye. A little bit more green. Oh, no. This is really sticky. It's like marshmallows, the consist consistency of this. Oh my gosh. Like taffy. Like I'm pulling taffy. I feel like I can just like do this and work out my arm <laughs> like every day. <laughs> yeah. 
go ahead and get our Canadian bacon. Let me turn this down. really fast so make sure that when you put it in there that you're um, you put it in after like everything's brown and it's kind of like the last thing like right before you throw in your eggs or you can do it on top after um, I'm gonna do an omelet here hopefully flip it and impress you guys <laughs> a little more food that I could use a taffy fork for this, that'd be great. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna do a couple episodes where I have guests come in. Um, and when I'm in Oregon, I will try and do an episode, but um, I do, I'm do. i doing all of my episodes every Sunday at seven. I can't do them during the week. The last one was kind of a mess. Um, just with like Bart and having to rely on that, um, just made it kind of difficult. So, I'm going to be doing them every Sunday at 7, so if you want to tune in and you find these mildly entertaining, that would be great. And if you tell your friends, that would be also very cool. And then maybe I'll become famous. No, it's okay. I don't want to become famous. I just want to cook. But I think I'll probably become more famous like by my personality than my cooking. <laughs> uh, so this is really yellow. So just keep adding dye until they're green. Or you just say that the shamrocks didn't are dying and they turned yellow. Perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna do this one down a lot so you can put a healthy handful in there and it still won't be you know too much go ahead and crack your eggs and get some pesto in there it smells great like I said about a tablespoon, a half a tablespoon. Mix this up. Make sure that you get them really well mixed, otherwise you're gonna have your egg whites and your yolks will be still separate. Um, and then you're not gonna get that nice yellow consistency. Well, I guess in this case it's gonna be green, but. You can make your own cookies. Wouldn't it be sweet if... Oh, Cass! Thanks for following. I edited all my stuff, so hopefully like, you'll be able to see everything now. Thanks, BFAR08. And yeah, you can't purchase these, but you can definitely make them yourself. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I'm bringing these in to my office, so if you want to swing by there, or if you work there, I, I have no idea who you are. I guess I could probably, like, guess, but I... Cool. So these are finally starting to turn green. My omelet is starting to become solid. I might be able to flip this after all. 
Um, a trick is to make sure that the egg is not running when you go to flip it. And also to flip it over a sink because then if any parts of it fall, then, then it's not a messy cleanup. <laughs> Okay. Yum. Okay, these are finally starting to look a little bit green. Yum. And as soon as I see, they'll be like mint green. I, I mean, I don't really think people care about the color more, so the taste. And these are so light and fluffy. When they come out, I mean, it doesn't look like fluffy right now, I know, because it's like taffy, but I am going to get some air back into these. Perfect. Okay. And for the flip. Woo! Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I know you're all very impressed. And go ahead and get your cheese on there. And I'm going to plate this. There's a nice green omelet. And my potatoes. There it is. Green eggs and ham, people. And I'm going to eat this while... I do this so I can multitask and get these cookies done. Yum. Breakfast for dinner. And I like ketchup. I'm glad that um, you guys are impressed by my flipping. A little ketchup on here. Not on the omelet. Although that, you know, you can put ketchup on whatever. Mmm, really hot, but really good. Ooh, really hot, very hot. Mmm, so hot. Oh my god, I can't eat that yet. That's really hot. I just lost like half my taste buds. Damn, now I won't get to taste these cookies. Mmm, so good. Okay. Let's get these cookies made. They are ridiculously messy. So, I mean, I think this would be really fun to do with like kids, but be careful because it's quite the mess. So get some um, powdered sugar ready in this bowl because um, you pretty much, it's just a mess. Your hands are just going to be so messy. Where did I put those scissors? Now make sure your stove's off so you don't burn down. Oh my gosh, that's so sweet. Whoever made that, I, I love you too. It's like my dad. <laughs> Yay, thanks, Bree. I'm glad that you're following. You just wanted to see another burger on the screen, I know. So creative. And I want the burger to like have a galloping noise, but I have to get a good one and cut it, and I just haven't done that yet. And then I'm also going to be posting um, like what I'm doing the day before. That way you guys can cook along with me. But I didn't yet. These things come. This is only my third time. Cool. So you just kind of scoop it into a little ball and drop it in the powdered sugar. Roll it up in there. Shake it off. 
and plop it down. And that's it. But you can see how this is going to be really messy. Ooh. And, you know, usually, like, when you do stuff like this, you should probably, like, have, like, a clean hand and, like, a not clean hand, but whatever. And these are a little big. I'm going to make them a little small, too. Just get your hand as messy as possible. Cool. So... Okay, so just, yeah, just roll them around. I'm gonna make them a little smaller. Make some, so you can do these with anything, uh, really any cake you want to. You can make red velvet ones, those are really good. Um, like, I'm doing, uh, lemon right now, but you can do honest, honestly any of them. Any flavor you want. Funfetti is really cool because then there's sprinkles in them. Those are fun for like, I don't know, a party. Or if you're just trying to, you know. Nope. Yum. They're just really good. And they're really easy. I mean, if this is easy. Ooh. These are all really different sizes, so try and, you know, make them the same size. <laughs> so everyone gets like the same size cookie. Messy. And these go in for, I can probably get one more. These are gonna, I should've, well, okay, well. You might want to get your all your pans out and ready so you can do this all at one time instead of <laughs> having to rewash your hands every time because it's so sticky. These are going to go in for like six to ten minutes and then we'll keep rotating them through. I would just put them in six minutes and then um, make sure that you're paying attention, really. Check them again. And if they're not cooked, but they cook up real quick. So I'm going to set the timer for six minutes. And I'm going to grab a couple more sheets so I can kind of just do a few of these at one time. Sorry for the loud noises. I guess I only have one more cooking sheet, so I'm going to do one. Cool. I, I'm going to try this again. I hope that this is not as hot. Yeah. Mmm. Much better. Much better. That's weird. Oh, it must be my sister. <laughs> I'm like, um, hey, Red, that's me. And my sister and my mom. So I guess it's not really fair to say that it's just me. Um, okay. Well, I kind of have to wait for that, so I guess I'll just eat this. Um, give me just one second here. Mom, are you going to come eat? No? You guys can meet my mom. Most of you probably know my mom. That's very real. Most of the people watching this are friends. <laughs> Are you gonna come eat? Yeah. Were you not watching? Yeah. Yum. Mmm. Okay. The 
get this going again. Mm hmm. Fun idea. Where's the one? Oh, it's over here. <laughs> you have to come get it. <laughs> it's right here. Come on. This is my mom. <laughs> Do you want more salt? There you go. No problem. I'm going to do some on these parchment. I don't know how many cookies this makes. I guess it depends on the size that you do. Oh, look, everyone's saying hi to you. <laughs> Yeah, I can come and cook for you, Court, in the city after work. Mm-hmm. I can do a show at your house. So, if you're just tuning in, green eggs and ham is what I made for dinner, and then hash browns, obviously. And then, um, so in the green eggs, I did pesto, which makes them green, obviously, and then. I added Canadian bacon for the ham, and then in mine I also put spinach so it's a little bit more green. Gina gave me a great idea to do that, so thanks for that. And then um, right now what I'm making is drop cookies. So this is just cake batter with an egg and Cool Whip, and it makes this really kind of sticky mess. And then you add it into the powdered sugar, which I will show you shortly, um, but I am going to eat a little bit more dinner because... I know I'm cooking for you guys, but it's, I do eat the food that I cook, so, you know. What is mom saying? Mmm. <laughs> so good. Okay. We'll get back to these cookies. So, I'm gonna just lay these out. Parchment papers, so it's a little bit easier to do here. Reset up my station. Okay. So you just mix it all together and it comes into this really sticky mess of a, I don't know, it's like taffy. And then you just take it and scoop little, scoop it into little balls and drop them into the powdered sugar. And then just like roll them in the powdered sugar. Oh, look at that little perfect one. So just scoop a little, drop it, and you kind of just got to shake your hand. So just gra let gravity do the work. And roll it up into the food cookie. Shake off all the excess powder. A scoop. <laughs> it kind of looks like boogers. I know that that's not very like uh, appetizing to say, but you know, I'm not a trained chef, so I can say whatever I want. <laughs> and this is my show. They need a little bit longer. I'm gonna put them in for two more minutes. Keep scooping. They look really cute though. Boop. These are just really fun to do with friends or by yourself on a live stream. This color is like Shrek. 
green. Obviously, green, like I mentioned, is my favorite color, but shark green is my most favorite color. Just like brightness, the vibrance. Yeah, if you're like doing like a Shrek party, you could dye your cookies. So for these, I've done um, I've done red velvet, which is really good. Um, I've also done pumpkin, um, like during obviously during uh, like Thanksgiving time. They have like pumpkin spice. You can use pumpkin spice. Those ones are really good. I like the lemon. Um, you could really honestly use any flavor. Strawberries, all right. I don't really like fake strawberry flavor. Um, but you can use any flavor, and that's what's so cool about them is that they're, you know, pretty easy to make. Obviously, it's only three ingredients, four ingredients, and they're so tasty, and I'll show you when they come out. They're just really light and fluffy. So... Green eggs and hot dogs. That's awesome. <laughs> How fun. Pesto is pesto eggs are so delicious, honestly. Okay. These look like they're just about done. Nice. So hot out of the oven. This is what they look like. Just let those cool. You can also add a little bit of more powdered sugar to the top because, you know, it's not sweet enough with just cake batter and Cool Whip. Um, so just dust the tops of them with a little bit of powdered sugar. And then we'll get this batch in there. Rotate these through. We should probably spread these out a little bit more so we don't get one big blob of cookie and turn off the timer so it stops beeping us. Shrek party, I know. So fun. Sweet. So just get these last ones done. Roll it up. And I, I, I've never tasted this batter either, so I don't know. I love cookie dough, but I mean, don't eat cookie dough because you're, could get salmonella or something. But I mean, I eat cookie dough all the time, so. Go ahead and get these popped in. Wow, these are so messy. Try and keep one hand clean. I think it would be really helpful. Obviously, you know, if you live, I mean, you live in your yard, but it's hard to open an oven with your hands like this. Again, get these in there for about six to ten minutes. These are so good. Yum. And I'm just going to keep going with this, um, I have the parchment here, so I think I might need a little bit more powdered sugar too, so get this all rolled in there so it ain't so sticky. And this is why they're called drop cookies, because they literally, you have to drop them off your hands. so tasty. Look at me keeping my hand clean. And like I said, this recipe came from my friend um, Tiffany, who she makes these for the office all the time. So the first time I ever made these, we did like a whole bunch of food for the office. We did lemon, we did 
Um, we did lemon, we did strawberry, we did red velvet, and we did the pumpkin. They were so good. And they are so good. Get this all rolled in here. I'm making them a little bit too big, so I'm separating some of them on the pan as I go. I mean, on the parchment. The sound effects are really important. I think it helps them <laughs> fall easier. So make sure that you're doing the sound effects. That's the only way that they really will, will fall. Otherwise, you've got to coax them. See, like that one. Didn't want to drop. Um, okay. I want to get spatula, just loosen these up a little bit, always, until I have two hands, until that's as close to coming out, roll these up, so I really do need to figure out the music situation, because it would be really nice if you guys could hear, so, what is this? Oh, yeah, I was. I was in, in Ireland for St. Patrick's Day. I, I really love St. Patrick's Day, like I said, and I've uh, done a few different, uh, had a few really good St. Patrick's Days. My parents had a party. That was great. We had these cocktails that were called grasshoppers, and it pretty much just tasted like a melted cup of um, mint chocolate chip ice cream. It was so good. <laughs> so delicious. Dangerously delicious. Um... And then we, the year after that, I studied abroad and I went to Dublin for St. Patrick's Day, which was fun, but also kind of weird because they don't celebrate St. Patrick's Day like we do. Um, so it, it like for them, it was originally like a religious holiday, obviously St. Patrick. Um, so they had like this parade, and in the parade there was a marching band from Alabama, which is just weird because like, you know, I you would think like St. Patrick's Day, Ireland's like having like, I don't know, those jumping dancer people. I don't know what they're called. <laughs> but um, but it was just weird. And they had this like really like this just giant head, um, which I don't know who that was supposed to be. And I believe that we've got a couple more minutes on these. But it was a blast. I mean, everywhere it's like everyone's drinking Guinness. And it's very, everything was green. They, like, every building was green. I hear that Chicago is really cool um, for St. Patrick's Day because they dye the river. I've never been to Chicago, period. But I really want to go. I think that would be fun. This year, um... I put on a ping pong tournament for the office, so we're going to do a little happy hour ping pong tournament with some green beer and it's like Guinness and Bailey's cupcakes, cupcakes, cupcakes I'm which I'm not making, but I'm sure they're going to be great. I think y'all try and y'all try and do it next year. Thanks for following. Okay. So let me just show you how light and fluffy these are. Literally, it's just like a little puff of, can you see that? Yum. Mm. I'm, they're bright green. Doesn't, looks a lot more green when they came out. Mmm. So tasty. I'm gonna go ahead and get these finished up. Pop the next ones in. Um, Really on a paper plate for work. Well, we only have Halloween plates. Okay, scratch that idea. I'll just put them on a plate for now. I'll figure out the logistics of transporting these later when I'm not uh, streaming myself live. Get all these off. Yum. I'm gonna talk, cut these in probably a little bit longer. We'll go two more minutes. So 
I guess eight minutes is probably a perfect time. If I tested this and had like a test kitchen before, I guess it probably wouldn't be as entertaining. <laughs> but those are our yummy cookies. Oh yeah, next year Chicago for sure. Chi Town. Let's go. And it, next year, I mean, it's on a Thursday, so it'll be on a Friday. So I would love to go to Chicago next year for St. Patrick's Day. Anywhere where they dye water green, you know, it's got to be legit. Sorry, I'm just looking for, I want to wipe this off. I guess I'm just going to throw the parchment on top so it doesn't really matter. Make sure you don't burn yourself if your pan is hot. Get those ready. Keep scooping a little bit more. Um, let's see here. Yeah, I guess I could. I wonder if, I don't know how it would sound if I was talking, if I would be able to hear it back on. Sorry, I'm just trying to think of how I can play music on my computer. I know that there's a way. Obviously, I'm not a, you know, really, I've only done this three times, so I'm still figuring out the logistics. But if anybody knows who's watching how to just play the, like have the music that I'm playing just play directly into the stream and not have to you know put a speaker out here with music that would be appreciated but I guess I'll just ask tomorrow somebody knows oh I didn't do the sound effects see I made a mess perfect our next ones are out Ooh, yum. Sprinkle these with a little bit more powdered sugar. Perfect. A little dust of sugar. Get the next ones in. We're just going to keep doing this rotating business here. Pop these ones in. We'll go eight minutes. Awesome. Well, thank you guys all for watching. I really do appreciate it. This is really fun for me just to do. Um, I obviously wanted to do this for a long time and the fact that you know people actually watch I just think it's really cool but I, I definitely talked to myself and cooked like from the time I was like you know in third grade I was just like constantly pretending to be Rachel Ray my show was supposed to be called Spice Up Your Life but um <laughs> and then like the Spice Girls song would play but just like instrumental and I would, that would be my show, but cooking with Kels is just, you know, rolls off the tongue. <laughs> and also, um, it, this isn't, you know, I, I would have to like be trained and like be able to teach you stuff about spices if I was calling my show Spice Up Your Life. <laughs> there we go. So I'm just going to keep doing this and finishing this off. Um, but it was really great having you guys all here. Um, I'm going to keep these things around an hour. Um, so I'm going to sign off, but thank you guys all for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, if you're watching from work, then you'll definitely be able to try these tomorrow and you can tell everyone how delicious they were, but thanks everyone. Oh, and it's giving me a spinning wheel of death. So I guess we're just going to hang out a little longer. Just keep scooping. <laughs>